Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a haul video. video! So a lot of this is actually from when Box Lunch Money and Hot Top Hot Cash was going on like late November. And we kind of like wanted to save it because we're having kind of like a smaller Christmas this year, like between each other because we're going to Disney World the week after Christmas. For New Year's. Yeah. So like, we're like, we know we're gonna spend a lot there. So we're just like, we're gonna do our little like exchange together. So figured it, it's okay to like accumulate a bunch of stuff <laughs> in this haul. This is going to be Box Lunch, Hot Topic, and the Disney, Shop Disney. I'm so used to seeing the Disney store. So I thought I would start with this sweater that I'm wearing. It's, I think it's sold out since then, but you might have saw it in our swap video, but it is a ugly Christmas sweater from Box Lunch of Up. This item is another wearable item, and this is something that I just got to lounge around the house in. Uh, and this is a Cars uh, sweatshirt for Dynaco and Lightning McQueen. And we have definitely uh, have a new place in our heart for Cars and Lightning uh, and Mater and the rest of the gang. So this is super cute, and it's a fun, festive holiday red. And then to... Everyone's surprised, probably, I got a bag, but it isn't a lounge fly bag, it's Danielle Nicole, which, um, I don't know, I don't usually care for her stuff, um, but this is super cute, I have the matching wallet, and, like, it's actually a little bit bigger than lounge flies, so I figure, like, since I thought it was gonna be a little cooler in Florida, that I would wear a book backpack this time and the launch lab ones are a little bit smaller i'm still gonna bring a couple but i figured this would be nice on days that i think i'm gonna be like buying stuff <laughs> so you have a cute little print of pixar and it has like bugs life monsters up ratatouille you could see and this was a pixar lounge fly the one thing I do like is like this is pretty wide so you could definitely keep a little water bottle there. The thing I don't like about hers is like the zippers are kind of wanky sometimes. But it's just kind of like her initial print and it has like little things there and it does have a inside zipper that says Pixar. Yeah, be careful when you use that, Tim, because the issue that I have found with Danielle Nicole's bags is that her zippers are really not great, and they've broken on every bag I've had of hers. So be careful. Yeah. I mean, I don't usually wear bags like that around. Like, I figure for Disney it would be cute, and it's bigger than lounge flies, so I'll give it a try. But um, to go with that, bag. I figure I would get a t-shirt since it might not be as cold as I was hoping it would be. So it's Monsters University. And it's a really pretty color and it has Mike and Sully on there. Tim, can you keep it down? I don't know. Can you make Monsters University less hilarious? <laughs> Excuse me, man. Can you keep it down? I don't know. Can you make Monsters University less hilarious? So, um, a lot of other stuff is just kind of like, yeah, stuff I bought, but it's like random stuff. No, some is decor, Christmas decor, which is for both of us. But we got um, a couple Funko, so I'll let you show them. Oh, I was so happy when you got this one. See, okay, so it is for us, right? Because I would have ended up getting this for myself event or eventually. But it is, they're expanding the uh, universe of Wally Funkos, and they got, uh, as I read it in the viewfinder, Ohm, but it's Mout. Mout. And these are, this is the back of the box, there's all these new Funkos. I love this one, and this is why I love doing things out of the box, because 
it's really when you get like it out of the box you can see like the back the cool clear detail of his back his little like cleaner and like how he's just driving around going mo and you can see that his head is like floating in a different way than other Funkos and then the little cool blue part on his little like cleaning thing and it looks like he's floating because he is he's hovering Mo. And it's funny because I actually won a Mo plush in Disneyland if you well actually that vlog's not out yet. Oh my gosh, you're right! But if you want to see some of our other Disney ones, Disneyland vlogs, we'll link them down below. <laughs> and I think you should actually show this set of Funkos. This is actually from Hot Topic. It should still be available on their website. Aww. These are hol- I love Holiday Pops, because Holiday Pops only come out at the holidays and they take up less space, and when they come back, I am very pleasantly surprised. But it's Holiday Lilo and Stitch! Or, not Lilo and Stitch, Le Lilo and his- or Stitch and his girlfriend. I don't know her. I don't know her! And they're both so big that they don't need- including Angel- they don't need, um, stands. But look at them, they're like, happy holidays, Stitch with this cute little yellow scarf and green hat, and Angel with her magenta hat and her pink scarf looking so... I don't know, is she bad? She just... I don't know, I don't think she's good enough for Stitch. I said it. She does not need to be his girlfriend, I don't even know her. Tim, you can put these out with our holiday pops. Aren't they so cute? I think one of them's cute. Angel's cute, look I don't at know her who hands. She is. She's looking so precious. She's mostly in the TV show, but... Which I never watch because I don't respect adorable. her as canon. Anyways, that's super cute. I love this dish, though. So, another thing we were able to get on discount were some Jim Shores, if you could believe it. So, this one is not Disney, but it's from one of my favorite Christmas movies growing up. And I really, really adore this one. And it was such a steal with hot ca or box lunch cash. So pretty. So I'll show you it out of the box. And here he is. Look at him up to no good, stealing all the decorations. I love the detail of the candy canes on this. And his little body and his little... It looks like he's wearing high heels, which is funny. But I love this holly print of the Jim Shore. This one is called The Grinch Stealing Candy Canes. Quite original, Jim Shore. <laughs> so that was a great find. This next Funko, not Funko, Jim Shore, is one that we've wanted for so long. And we kind of held off because we had it on our Bibbity wish list and then like we were in some Halloween box swaps, we just didn't know. So when this was on sale, plus I was able to use my hot cash with it, I was like, yes. So this is one that Johnny's gonna want to show you guys. Oh, it's massive too. Oh, I haven't seen it in person actually. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so this is the pumpkin holiday. Halloween autumnal Jim Shore. We have Stitches the Devil and we have a couple other like autumnal Jim Shores, but I've always wanted this one because it's so cute. He's just coming out looking sweet. There's no angel. Um, and then the beautiful pumpkin detail looking at the cute leaves. And this is called Stitch a Lantern. But look, you can still see Jack's, like, the jack o lanterns face. This is awesome, because I can put this right back into the box to put it with our Halloween decor and then bring it out next year. But great find, Tim. What a great deal and bargain. Right? And then I do have some ornaments, which was exciting, that they had them for pretty cheap. If you could see our background, you might know what ornaments they are. But I'm not going to take them out, because you can kind of see them already in the boxes. But... You have Sully there, just looking like Sully, super cute. He has his hand behind his back. And then this one's super cute of Mike, because he has a little smile, and then on the back he has a little laugh canister behind his back, like he's hiding it. So like, these are always very Tim and Johnny, so I love that, and they are Hallmark. All right, on to the next, Things. So we have some 
mystery keychains, which we've been into lately because they go on our trees. So we have more of these coming. So this is going to be in its own video. So be on the lookout for that. So these are WB characters, which I'm really loving a lot of these. So you have from A Christmas Story, Ralph and the Lamp, and then the Glass Mug. You have Buddy the Elf from Elf, Pete and Snow Miser, Frosty, and then these ones are random, Tweety and Batman. And I'm not sure who the exclusives are. So be sure to be on the lookout for these coming this week as we wrap up Vlogmas. You guys are going to have to let us know how you felt about Vlogmas this year. Did you love it? Are you sad it's ending? <laughs> let us know. But then we do have two more keychains, but we're going to open here. Oh, we are? Because we only got two of them. Oh. But you could show them first. These are Series 26, the holiday Disney keychains and there are all of these options. Diana, Belle, Ariel, Minnie and Mickey, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Tinkerbell, Stitch, Lilo, and what looks to be another mouse? A cookie? I don't know who those people are. Do you know who those are, Tim? B looks like Piglet, I would say. Mm. A, I don't know. A looks like another Mickey. Yeah. Maybe it's like a gingerbread Mickey, that would be cute. But these are great, like, if you have to kind of make your um, minimum. Yeah, if you have to make it higher for your box lunch money, which is why we got just two of these randomly, but we love these. Do we have the stitch with, do we have the stitch no. one? I like the stitch one because it has scrub. These are brand new, so we don't have any of these. Okay, well I oh want... God, that's so noisy. A few minutes later. I want stitch and scrub. We thought they were done with the trash outside. It's like literally right under our window right now. So amazing. <laughs> but later. I think it's done. Finally, jeez. <laughs> Tati, not for you. She thinks they're treats. You go first. Okay. Oh, this one's cute. Oh. He's so stubby looking. <laughs> And when we say keychains, we mean figure out bag clips. So I got Winnie the Pooh looking all Pooh Bear with his little shorts, or his little t-shirt, no sh pants. Cute little hat. I like the green <laughs> clip though. All right, so hopefully this one's not the same one. Oh, it's not hard to open. So Tim, does this go on the this one because it's yellow? And that one's yeah. blue. Okay. Hopefully it's just not a duplicate. Is it a Pooh Bear? It's a duplicate Pooh Bear. Oh, of all of the chances. Right. Well, leave the tag on that one because we don't need two Pooh Bears. So, Boo, if anyone wants to trade this, let us know. All right, so you guys know pins are coming. So I just, to save time, I put them all on this board. This one is a cool one. They actually just came out with a different area one that I liked a little bit better than this, but like it's super cute it's like you move it and it's kind of these like little candy ball things come in and you have little flounder in there this one i loved because it was a christmas pin of cruella and she has the lights all up on her with a little dog coming out of the present which i thought was adorable this one's a really cute one of the lounge fly. This is Belle and Beast from that something there scene. I absolutely love Belle in this look. And when Beast has all those birds on them, it's adorable. And then they randomly came out with a bunch of tarot cards for the villains. I'm super into. So I'm guessing like a mystery set might come or they might just start releasing these randomly. The evil queen is the queen. How did she get that one? And then Ursula is the witch. And Jafar is the warlock. Ooh. And we have a lot of different tarot card ones, so those would go awesome with our collection. 
And then of course, to round up my total, I needed another pen, so I grabbed Yoshi. And I love it, he's holding the like little apples that you eat in the Super Mario game. And then we do have, of course, a bunch of mystery pins that you'll see in a future video. So we'll just show you the two we have. We have tons of these. So, so we have the Winnie the Pooh tree, which I absolutely adore this. I love that they're like creating different puzzle or ways to make puzzle. I really want the top one of the owl the most, but if we got all these to connect, even like we can make a stumpy tree if we don't get them all. <laughs> like if you have the top and bottom, you're set. And then these are some Disney villain cupcakes. So yeah, I don't know. We don't have as many to do a whole video for the cupcakes maybe. I mean, we might, but let us know if you want to see that down below. But for sure, we'll do the poo ones, which is exciting. How many are in that set? Um, six? How? Six? One, two, three, oh god. So that piglet one's tiny, you're right, you don't need, or not the piglet one, the uh, Rue one. You don't need all of those, you can just, you can make like your own tree. It's like your own giving tree. Yeah, unless Eeyore and Piglet are on the same branch, but that would be kind of weird. We'll see. So the last thing we got on Box Lunch's website, we couldn't believe that they had these on their website. It did not qualify for Box Lunch money, but I had a gift card. And you know, I don't even know if John has seen this yet, but one of our new obsessions is Thomas Kincaid canvas prints. And I already could tell on the side that there's a hidden character from a different movie in here. Oh, you're yeah. right, I didn't see this. Isn't that beautiful? That's so pretty. I've never been in New Orleans, but John has. I have, oh look, there's her. Yeah. Who's that? Oh God. Isn't that creepy? Yeah. That's really creepy. Is that supposed to be Dr. Facilier? I don't know, but it's creepy AF. Yeah, it is, because look at his mustache. That's weird. I don't like that. I didn't that. even notice that. Well, it's you're not going to see it when we hang it, so. So this is a beautiful Thomas Kincaid, and as you can see, the sticker of authenticity from Thomas Kincaid, but there are so many cool things in this. There's Naveen and Tiana. There's them as frogs, which is a little weird because they're the same people, so who are these frogs? There's also Ray. Then there is a hidden gem of Cinderella. Again, why is she there? Because they always hide other characters in their- Is Mama Odie on here anywhere? I don't think so. No. Um, and then there's also on the bottom Louie playing the trumpet or trombone. Let me see. And what I was saying earlier was look at that like face up in the goat, like in the clouds. If you can see that, that's like really creepy and terrifying of Dr. Facilier. Yeah, I wonder because if you get the bigger prints, it actually shows more of the scene. Oh, so I bet you'll get like a really yeah, foreboding. It'll, it'll like, be like him. his actual face. Did you show Ray up there? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, but it's funny that Cinderella's on there because they have kind of like similar color dresses on. But I love this one. We have um, we have a Little Mermaid one, a Sleeping Beauty one, and a Tangled one. So now we have a Princess and the Frog one. And when you were talking about New Orleans, I did go to New Orleans. That was like, I went in 2015 for the very first time. It was fun. We actually went on one of those like airboat, like swamp boat things where I got to like hold an alligator. <laughs> and like we went on like, it was right around American Horror Story uh, Coven, so it was like very like awesome to go around like all of the coven spots in New Orleans. <laughs> and there's a great casinos down there too, where they have single deck blackjack, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, very pretty aesthetically. Mm -hmm. I just love like this trees. You hate the heat though. I know. It's I don't want to so go lucky. there ever, but like it's pretty to look at. <laughs> All right. And then the last thing we have from Shop Disney, I couldn't believe I found this on their website because this is six of 10, which this should have came out in June. And I think it might have came out in like August or September, but like maybe they restocked it. But it is our first Disney Castle series of anything. And we got the pin. And of course, when I saw this was Aurora, 
And we were just in Disneyland for the first time this year, so this makes this extra special. Look at how beautiful this is. And a lot of people were saying they came like damaged, like the little hinge, but ours is actually intact. It came very well protected. And then when you open it, you have all of the rooms in the castle, which is just stunning. And then look, there's me sleeping up there. <laughs> and I just think this is such a pretty pin. And then here is the back. It is limited release. So the only other one we would kind of want would be the Cinderella castle because, you know, Walt Disney World, Disneyland. I think that would be cool to have like the centerpiece there, but Cinderella was the very first one I believe that came out and it's like super hard to get. I thought you were going to say uh, Atlantica, Ariel's castle. You know, if I go down that slope, I'm gonna want them all. So like, I don't have a bedroom. I want a bed. Oh, I'll be in the I'll be in the kitchen or like the dining room. I'll just be eating. <laughs> if Tim's upstairs sleeping, I'll just be eating. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. So yeah, that is our haul. We are f done, if you could believe it. <laughs> Let us know what your favorite item we got today was. We got some amazing deals, and can't wait to put some of this stuff out. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber, uh, we would love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button so you'll be notified of our future pin unboxing, our DCA vlog that'll come out before the end of the year, as well as all of our upcoming Walt Disney World vlogs that will be posted in 2022. Yeah, and you could go back and watch all of our Vlogmas videos because we did tr put a lot of effort in this year and there are 25 videos to choose from. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us today, and we can't wait to see you in our next Vlogmas video. Take care and be well. Bye. Bye.